just need excited the fog. In those days they had no rider or radar. They had to lay on hours and hours. And the fog would sometimes play tricks on those. Long periods of fog had a way of conjuring up old sea stories and superstitions among the birds of the harbour. Many of the tugs felt nervous in the daytime fog. When darkness fell, they became even more anxious and a little bit jumpy. On this particular evening, Big Mick was on his way back to the Starpshire. He'd been working all day with the scuttle, but Pitt had been turning him about her, says stories, about strange things that could happen when fog was around. 
is big Mac past a spook head buried warehouse. Yeah, a whispering sound. The buildings creaked and groaned as though they were alive. Well, they're not alive. It's just things that go bump in the night. The whispering sound grew lighter. Big Mac peered through the fog. But it couldn't say anything. Oh, this is too creepy for me, he muttered. I'm getting home. Home to safe place. Fast fog or no fog. Yes, I'm getting home. Yes, I'm getting home to that lovely water bed with my friends. He sets off through the fog, but suddenly, there in front of him appeared four ghostly attacks. Ah! called Big Mac. It's the ghost fleet. It's got all bad people talking about. It was all too much for Big Mac. He turned and charged off through the fog, hoping the ghost fleet was not following him. And eventually, it's the safety of the star power. All the star tracks except Hercules and their births as Big Mac came steaming in. Slow down! Big Mac's a top head. You better than to travel it fast in the fog. Hmm? As I looked closely at Big Mac. You all right, Big Mac? He asked. You look to sir. You've seen a ghost. Well, uh, actually, I have, said Big Mac in a, in a shaky voice. You've seen what? asked I bear. Cursed, replied Big Mac. Well, well, laughed Toppet. I never thought a harbour trunk would believe in ghosts. Yes, and around they're coming to get you, yes. They're coming to get you. <laughs> they all joined in the laughter as Big Mac looked embarrassed. Early the next morning, Captain Starr gave his fleet their orders for the day, she was all. The fog was still <laughs> thick as the tugs prepared to go to work, they chased Big Mac about his ghost. I shouldn't have told you, scared Big Mac. You take no notice, said Nurse. The fog plays funny tricks on all of us. Teach you about it, Big Mac. Teach you about it. Just made you keep your wits about you. Big Mac moved off, muttering to himself. Uh, I suppose I could have been seeing things, he said, but they seemed jolly real at the time. I can tell you, they didn't seem fake, they seemed real. The tanks had to work.